Good evening, viewers, and welcome to another Calypso Showcase. And it was great pride tonight that we bring to you a special Calypsonian, Winston Bailey, Shadow. Good evening, Shadow, and welcome to Calypso Showcase. Good evening, and thank you. It just struck me as I called your name. Um, you used to be called the Mighty Shadow. You prefer to be just called never Shadow. Never the Mighty, never the Mighty. Never the Mighty Shadow, the just shadow. The, always the Shadow. Yes, yes. And where did you get the name, the Shadow, from? The crazy, simple story. Uh, uh, in Tobago, somebody was calling somebody by the name of Shadow, and you know, I was feeling like the person calling me. That was a long, long time ago, and I was telling my friends, and they started calling me Shadow, you know. But I always liked Calypso before that, so it was fitting with the Calypso thing. The Shadow. Yeah. Well, Tell us about this Calypso season. You sung at the mass camp, a um, tent which was organized by A-Class Promotions. How did the season go for you? It was good. I sang um, hardhead music, music which um, everybody know by the name Dingoli. <laughs> <laughs> they have christened it Dingoli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I gave the song the wrong name. And I'm so cool, yeah. It was a nice season. It was a nice season. Yeah, the songs were well received by the audience. But we've got a lot to show the audience about you tonight, and uh, we've got one of the, we've got a lengthy video clip on Shadow. We, we almost didn't know what to cut out as far as Shadow was concerned. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to go straight into this, what we've prepared on the mighty Shadow, on the Shadow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a cool night in TNT, and looking up to the Lavantil Hills, from the scenic roof of the Caribbean Song Basin, the home of Lamar Studios, the Kiskidi label, and talking to the man Winston Bailey, the shadow, who has just put out a monster LP from this facility. Winston Bailey, welcome to Calypso Showcase. Thank you for having me here. Well, I know you're not uh, a man of many words. Uh, in fact, in your Calypsos, you, you're rated as one of those people who can use few words but get a message across. But tonight, we hope to get you talking a little bit more. I would try. I would try. I don't know how far I would go with this thing. I know I'm a singing man, not a talking man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure the first thing that our fans would like to know is the roots of the, of the man Winston Bailey, Shadow. Uh, where was he born? What sort of uh, upbringing did he have? Well, um, I grew up from a baby in um, Lekato, Tobago. Uh, my roots, uh, like music, is like tambourine music. Um, you know the good skin with the tambourine, uh, and they play the violin. Mm -hmm. And um, do music like jig, reel, and some others. Um, that is first music I knew and loved. I mean. Right now, I think a lot of that remain with me. What about any formal training in music? Oh, no. But from a, a little boy, um, music was always around me. Like, my grandfather was a choir master, and he used to practice choirs and things, but, um, like, for harvest and uh, different things. But I never used to sing in the choir, you know, because uh, my family used to figure I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to tell myself, these people don't know, I don't want to sing them things this again. I have something else I want to sing. <laughs> so I used to sing, but not home. I used to sing like, um, I used to look up after a lot of animals, like cows, um, sheep and things. So when I go in the pasture, I milk some milk and I soak some fire in and I put them on a tree to so get right down, you know. And I sing, and I try to write calypsos all the time because that is my thing. That was my thing from ever since, um, from the first day I wrote calypso. I wanted to get into this thing. I wanted to do it. That was so sweet. I feel that was the sweetest thing to do. I remember trying to write calypsos first. It wasn't easier eh? because the music was in me, so it's easy to get doom, doom, doom. But um, the lyrics. The rhyme oh, thing, man. the rhyme thing was beating me bad, man. <laughs> the story was flowing out, eh? Mm. But the rhymes, it's a slow me down. I remember one time I was looking for a guy called Kelvin. He used to, uh, you know, the speech band thing, and uh, this guy used to use a lot of rhymes. You know, I wanted to give, wanted to find him to give me a f some kind of formula, something that I could walk by. But um, right now, I'm glad I didn't find him. Eh? Are we going way back in the early 70s? And uh, we're talking Princess Building. 
and we're talking about them. And this is the first Calypso that I remember you making an impact with me was a, a tune called the Threat. I believe it was the second year you were singing Calypso, and that's the era I want to take you back to. Well, you we had to go back a little further. Before Prince's building, it's like um, um, Port Services Club, Rice and Road, mm -hmm. Blakey's Victory. That's where I sang the threat. I sang with Blakey um, two years. I did the threat and then I did another threat which was in like um, Trouble in 72. Um, and then the third year, I did another threat because I wanted people to know. I was, you were coming out. I'm coming, I'm really coming. And uh, after the third threat, I tried the thing, mm -hmm. the man in my head. Right, well, let us see now which threat it is that I really knew because there was a threat that I found I couldn't get out of my head. And I don't know if you can remember the melody, but maybe, maybe it was the third threat that I picked up on. Uh, so perhaps I don't know if any of, of those threats can come back to you. Let me see. I sit down and study a lovely melody. It could be a winner, sure, in panorama. You might think I'm joking or believe I'm boasting. But if you listen, you could hear the rhythm. A challenge in Calypsonians who think they are road match champions. I ain't making fun. I'm going to beat them in 71. Steel band men, please listen to me. This is the beat of this melody. I quite agree, teaching I is great. But in 71, he must feel me wait. Well, if those steel band boys give this tune a simple try. Kitchen boy, what are in your eyes? Well, that didn't work, eh? That is the tune. So that was um, the first threat. Um, so, <laughs> but I threatened again, you know. Uh, trouble in 72. I said something like, can't remember it too good, you know. I said something like, last year I tell them that I could beat them. They're getting one as though it's a problem. Let me make this clear before I came here. My name was Babel. I had the best orchestra in hell. Just listen to Sweet Day, his music in the place, and that could be back and all for the carnival. Road my contenders got to be sweet like sugar, and if they fail to do so, trouble go meet them in 72. Well, that didn't work, eh? That didn't work, either. No, but I had to threaten Mr. Kitchen and Sparrow because they were so outstanding, they are great, great, you know, and just had the thing. But I wanted people to know, uh, I come in too, I want to get there too. So um, the, the, the first two didn't work, eh? so I come back again. More threats. They think I... No, no, this one is what? Yeah. They think I will stop. Tell them they lie. I come out to fight, and it's battle until I die. Baru and Kitchener, I hear them walking over here. If they sing the race, you can't stop them on Carnival Day. I don't want to get vexed and lose my temper. Mr. Kitchener and Mr. Sparrow. Anytime I get vexed, I go use my razor. I want in all you, carry me by the Ubia man too. Right. So that set the, the, the tempo yeah. for what you were coming on. Now, this tune, Beast Man, which you launched out with in 74. First to begin, I want to know, what was the relationship between you and Adi Koto? Because Adi Koto had an input into that Calypso as well. So let's talk about that. Well, um, the truth about the Calypso, it came out as um, how I did it. The song was really, um, I, I, I used to write um, my music all the time from the threat on Blake, he took me by Atta one day. I remember, uh, I told him, um, he was shaving. Uh, I was trying to explain to him, um, uh, I wanted to write these songs, but uh, I have some different ideas. He said, well, let me hear them. Mm -hmm. 
Not just the bass I wanted, I found out something else I wanted because they played it down, right? But um, I was missing something. Mm -hmm. I had the whole thing like... When, when put down the thing on the tape, I see. But this thing beating me here, man, I'm missing something bad, 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 bad. I couldn't move, you know, like I wanted, then I was thinking, and I come up with the congas. You match it up with a beautiful number. I come out to play, which was simply sweetness. Yeah. It was Tuesday night. That love carnival. Me head feeling right, right. I bounce up this girl. She said I drink up me whiskey and I smoke up me tampi. And right now I'm searching for a man to jump up with me. But boy, you're dancing like you're free to touch me. I come out to play, hold me tight around me belly. I come out to play, like you're free, me man who beat you. I come out to play, me have a man, I tell you. I only hope you ain't have no woman in the band. Cause if you have a woman, that will be real confusion. I am in search of a man with your description. And you gotta play with me from now on till last Wednesday. I said, do do come, take a drink around. She gave me shoe bus, and I lost my post. I tell she throw away the damn shoe, and I throw away my shoe too. She say, oh, they are hoping I could bunk up someone like you. But why you dancing like you're afraid to touch me? I come out to play, pull me tight around me belly. I come out to play, and like if you're afraid, me man go beat you up. I come out to play, my brother me have no man, I tell you. I only hope you ain't have no woman in the band. If you have a woman, that would be real confusion. I am in search of a man with your description. And you got to play with me from now until Ash Wednesday. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, we want to talk about Dimash Grand Night, 1974. <laughs> Mm. Ah. <laughs> I know that night means a lot to you. I want you to tell me what went through you when the results came out that night. I went to say I didn't win. I said, what's going on here? Everybody crazy. Well, I ran from there to Belmont, you know. Hmm. I wasn't feeling too good. I had to run. Yeah, I was feeling sick because I woke all my lifetime, you know. I work hard on music, you know, I spend all my life on music, you know, from a kid, you know. You catch me all in lonely places with a guitar. One time I used to play with three strings and I always working hard. And I think if I wish there, I deserved it. Because it, it, it was just that, you know, it was just that. That was all the way out, but everybody's 
going with me, eh? But then, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe my face or something, something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, they didn't give the thing to me. Uh, the, the fact that you, you won the road match and also play second of the road match would I come out to play, do anything to appease that hurt? I mean, um, that was good to happen because uh, they were, the were songs were good and the people supported me by, uh, they wanted this one and I come out to play, to win. And um, I, I was glad to see somebody else could win because, I mean, it's the same thing I was saying, I was threatening all the time. Mm -hmm. And I wanted somebody else to win, you know, and I was thinking about road match really. That's history. Yeah. Well, you were finalist in 75 and in 76, but it's not until 1977 did you decide to vent your anger. That's the only way I put it, when you said, jump judges, jump. Tell us how you, you came to compose that particular calypso. I, I wasn't interested in the crown again, so I, I was kind of angry with the judges. So that's why I, I, I told them I want to catch them in hell to bust it to one thing. The world know my music is solid like brick. The people enjoy it, they jump to the beat. When they have competition, the judges will swear. I am a comedian, so hear what I will declare. I want to catch them judges in hell to have them jump it. Just jump it. No stopping. I want to wear them up with some clothes and have them jump it. Just jump it. No fooling. When I tell you jump, Jump! You've got to jump! Jump! When I tell you stop, jump! Keep jumping up! Jump! And if I catch you jumping up slow, I'll watch your door! 